Not me! What are you all doing? If we want to go on every scary ride at the carnival today, we have to be there in 15 minutes! Oh, sorry, Ginger. We were waiting for Hank, and then we got distracted by this mystery cake. Yeah, we don't know why it's here, but you don't question cake! Wait, don't question cake? This all feels eerily familiar. Huh? What's eerily familiar? This is a birthday cake. It's Hank's birthday. Oh, a birthday. I hear those are fun. It's not fun. Every year, he forces us to help him make his own episode of his favorite show, Bongo and McGillicuddy. And he gets all bossy and mean and not Hank-like. Oh, that's disgusting. Huh? I guess the carnival trip is off. There's no way out of this one. Huh? Oh, no. I think I hear him coming. Maybe there is a way out of doing this. Guys, Hank is sick. No, I'm okay. I just need fluids. <laughs> hey, that sounds bad. We better let you rest. Maybe you're right. <laughs> it might be contagious. Well, you definitely sound contagious. So we'll celebrate you on another day. <laughs> <laughs> Carnival time! Well, at least you're still here, Jeremy. Oh, yeah. I'm still here. And I got questions! What is this Jeremy you've been hanging out with behind my back? TV and sip the soup, but I'll get you a blankie. <laughs> Let's see the other germs stand up to that. Hey, I'm sorry, okay? I really didn't want to get sick, believe me. I'd rather have my usual birthday where I bring my favorite TV show to life. Instead, I have to sit here. <laughs> oh, man! And now there's soup on the remote. <laughs> you quit being a crap, I'll get it! Don't stop! You're making it worse! You're gonna fry the buttons! No. No. I'll go in the Well, ain't this a kick in the cartoon caboose? It's Hank <gasps> and Jeremy. <gasps> You're right, McGillicuddy. Jeremy's a no-good germ who makes everyone sick. Cuff him. Uh, oh, I didn't infect him. Really? He's telling the truth, guys. This is my fault. I treated soap like a suggestion. Mm. Well, I'm still watching you, Blue. And I'm hugging you, Hank. <laughs> oh, it's been too long. <laughs> <laughs> This is amazing! My remote pulled you through the TV because of a combination of soup, static electricity, and birthday magic. Whoa, whoa. If it's your birthday, then where's the party? Uh, nowhere. It got moved to another day because I'm sick. Well, that is just not acceptable. I'm declaring a special police mission to throw you a birthday bash with all of your TV friends. <laughs> We're making good time. Next, we hit the bumper boats, then dry off on the Tilt-A-Whirl. Move your butts! I'm sorry, Ginger. I'm just distracted for some reason. Yeah, this should be fun, but something feels off. Thanks for being with me on my birthday. It wouldn't have been the same without you. That's a bit on the nose, but accurate. What we did to Hank was wrong. But he was gonna make us sick or make us make a bad movie. Oh, you guys, we have to make it up to him. But how? Step right up, step right up. Get something for your friends that couldn't be here today. That's it. Let's win Hank a prize, and fast. He's probably feeling miserable right now. Let's party! <laughs> Almost zapped in Captain Criminal, the baddest baddie in the Tuniverse. Oh, that would have been bad, because this party is for good guys only. <laughs> That's right. Hey, birthday boy, no more trick shots. Yes, sir. Bad 
bad birthday. But now, it may be my best birthday ever. And none of this would have happened if I wasn't sick. To the germ that got me sick and brought me together with you. Oh, come on. I'm the one who made this all happen. Yeah. Well, well, what have we here? A nice little birthday party. It would be a shame if someone were to crash it. Someone like me. <laughs> Good point, McGillicuddy. Now let's show this pathetic punk that this party is for protagonists. Remote was our only way to get rid of them. We're doomed. No one's ever doomed when police are around, Hank. Think, where can we find another remote? I've got it. There's always extra remotes in the couch cushions. Clever, but those crazy criminal crashers have the couch covered. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, it's too dangerous. <laughs> hey, that monkey stole my snack. <laughs> yes, remotes. Now we just need a staticky blanket and a bowl of Jeremy's soup. Wait, where is Jeremy? Sure, police adventures are fun, but you should see how they wreck friendships. Uh, zero stars. Jeremy, why are you hiding in here? We need your soup to save the party. Oh, is that so? Are you sure you don't need one of your TV friends or the germ that got you sick? Uh-oh, looks like we've got us a code 15. Jealous friend. Hey, buddy, are you okay? What do you care? Ah, leave me alone. Look, I'm sorry I got sick. It was selfish. I should have thought about how you would feel while I was coughing and wheezing on my birthday. Can you forgive me? So, you promise you'll never get sick? Ever, ever, ever again? I never will. Promise. Hey, come here. Give me that balloon back. No way! This is proof that your carnival is rigged, and soon everyone will know! <sighs> All right, kid, let's make a deal. You give back the balloon, and I'll let you have any prize you want. No way! This is about justice! Hold on, Ginger. Any prize? Let's mute these birthday baddies! <laughs> No, I'm out of juice. Yeah. Enough! Put down the remote. You think I'm bluffing? <laughs> Put him down, or say sayonara to the simian. Hank, remember that rule about no more trick shots. Or well, some rules were meant to be broken. Happy birthday to me. Space. Let him breathe. Wait, he's opening his eyes. Hey, wait, what happened? Jeremy, where's Bongo and McGillicuddy and the rest of my cartoon pals? You were dreaming. 
Jeremy says you were sleeping for hours. But we're glad you're up now. We got you something that will make this birthday special after all. Uh, thanks? Pretty nice, huh? With these guys around, it's like Bongo and McGillicuddy are gonna be in the garage with you. How crazy is that, huh? <laughs>